Welcome to Bass Day Fishing. I haven't made a video in a very long time and there's a good reason for it. I haven't fished in a very long time. It's been almost two months since I've been on the water and if you're a fisherman you know how ridiculously long that amount of time is. So this morning I'm going heading up to Castaic Lake. It is our last tournament of the year and this morning I'm fishing for the Angler of the Year title for the ZLF Bass Federation which is my bass club. Uh, I'm currently tied with another member of the Bass Club, so whoever catches more fish today wins the thing. Uh, third place is pretty far behind us, so really it's a two-man race. We're dead even going into this event. Whoever wins today wins the Angler of the Year title. Now, why should you fish in a Bass Club? Let me show you on the wall up here. So you can fill your wall with a whole bunch of meaningless plaques from club tournament victories. Let's face it, when you're fishing in a Bass Club, there's not that many other guys you're fishing against, so winning these plaques isn't really that hard. Now, if you're fishing in a money tournament, you're, you might win some money, but you're not going to win a whole bunch of plaques like that. Because in the Bass Club, you're only fishing against six to ten other boats. A lot easier to win stuff like that. If I can pull this out today, I'll have my second Angler of the Year plaque to hang on my wall up here. Always a cool thing to hang in your office. So go find yourself a good Bass Club. It's a good chance to fish with good people, to learn some new stuff. Just a lot of fun. And you can put plaques on your wall. Alright, here's the deal. Castaic Lake is brutal. I tell you this every time. This is probably the fifth video where I've told you how hard it is to catch fish at Castaic Lake in the winter. We've got six boats going out today. It's just going to be a matter of who can catch two or three fish, I'm guessing, to win this thing. My goal, catch one fish and let's just see what happens from there. Um, it's kind of a sad goal, I know it, but if you've ever fished Castaic Lake in the winter time, even in the late fall, you know it isn't easy. You can catch little fish, you just can't catch those 15 inch bass that you need to weigh in. Uh, for tournament fishing, it's got to be 15 inches. So Castaic Lake is just brutal. But it's 5 a.m. right now. My uh, co-angler today is Mike Black. He's going to get here at 5.50. So it's still dark outside. I'm probably figuring it's not going to get light till 6.10. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We just need to catch a couple of bass. I think that might be enough this morning. So we'll see you up there on the lake. It's cool as now. Just run through trying to batteries all day. It's now plugged into the boat. Morning! A little cold right now. Yeah. We got yesterday off. Monday's gonna be weird. There's gonna be no learning for about a week. Oh yeah. They didn't really have a full grasp of everything, which is good. Yeah. But Monday they'll fully get it. So yeah. We'll have a lot of kids not there next week. Oh my god. That's me. First well, cast with an air rig. Oh. Shoot, let me get these out. Those are so hard. You pop out if you. That was the one that was 
and a half since the last one that's good well that's it for the fishing footage i know only three fish today and one of them was a keeper we came in a third place for the tournament today the guy that i was tied with for angler of the year he skunked today so i did manage to, to win the 2019 angler of the year for my uh, my bass club which is always fun i'll have a plaque to put on my wall it's always fun to put those things up now you saw at the beginning of this video that i am a junior high school teacher for the feeder school for saugus high school we had a shooting at Saugus High School just two days ago. Two students were killed. Um, one of those students was my former student, so I was fishing today with a very heavy heart. Um, yesterday we had the day off. My wife and I went for a long hike up in the mountains to kind of get our, our heads cleared. My wife teaches with me at that same junior high school. So these kids are our kids, and those kids are, you're gonna be suffering for some time. So keep them in your prayers. Keep the teachers in your prayers. Um, there's a lot of stress on the teachers right now as well. So make sure you are praying for the kids at Saugus High School, the staff at Saugus High School, um, the teachers that fed those kids up to that level. We know those kids. Those kids were our kids. So this is a real tough time for us. I was fishing with a heavy heart today, but I knew I wanted to get out there, fish with the guys. Fishing is a great way to get your mind clear. Something I felt I needed to do today. So it was just, it was just good to be on the water. Keep Saugus High School in your prayers. I will see you next time on Bass Day Fishing.